What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we're going to be taking a look at some new arrivals from River's Edge Cutlery. A lot of you guys know I just recently set up a program with them so you'll find links right down in the description especially right for those of you who are looking at this going uh dude we can totally just do this ourselves why do we have to watch a video of you going through everything when I can just do this by myself? You're right you totally can. So I've uh, conveniently linked this exact page their uh, new arrivals page right down at the top of the description so that you don't have to sit here and listen to my commentary if you don't want to. That's perfectly up to you. Um, just so everybody knows, uh, this is uh, um, you know something that uh, River's Edge Cutlery and I talked about. I've enjoyed shopping with them for a while. Um, I've probably bought five or six knives from them over the years. And their website has grown into a super convenient and well sorted out uh, you know, layout, the construction of the website's fantastic. Their inventory is massive and they get a lot of the stuff that everybody wants. This is yet another retailer that gets Hinderer knives, Demco knives periodically. They get a, a ton of Spyderco knives. They do some awesome exclusives. I know a lot of you guys were aware of their recent exclusive, right? They do, uh, uh, I mean, the Shaman is what I'm talking about, but they do other exclusives as well. This is another place where it's probably a good idea to sign up for their newsletter and notifications for stuff that you want. Doing my best to expand as much as possible so that my viewers can get their hands on the things that they want. This is different than a sponsorship. River's Edge Cutlery is not paying me to say nice things. No, this is an affiliate program, which means I don't work for anybody. I'm not employed by River's Edge Cutlery simply uh, a situation where there's links down below for stuff that I think is interesting, right? And it'll be that way in the future. And you guys can use them if you want to. That's how that works. Um, but yeah, um, so they've got like over here on the left side, the coming soon page, which is excellent. All retailers, any other retailers watching this, you need a coming soon page so that people always know what's coming soon to your, re it's really, it's really handy. I'm so glad that they do this. Now, just so you guys know, their coming soon page will list things as out of stock. That does not mean they came and went. That means that they're not there yet. They don't have any stock which is kind of confusing because items that were once there and then are out of stock are also listed that way. But items on this page, it means that they're coming soon. So you can check out these items. And as you can see, they have a lot of the stuff that other retailers get, right? So if something is sold out in one place, it might be a good idea to check another place, or in this case, River's Edge Cutlery to see if they've got it. Pretty cool. So anyways, um, let's go down to uh, the new arrivals section, which I could have sworn... <laughs> oh, it's up here. Sorry. New Arrivals is at the top. Um, but anyways, they have the new Finch uh, Holiday Knives in Canyon Red Linen Micarta or Ghost. These are very cool. I actually gave one of these to my dad for Father's Day um, as an early Father's Day because he was just up here the other day checking for hail damage. This one, in fact, right here. Um, the flipping action on these guys is excellent. This is probably the best knife or this is my favorite knife from finch knife co uh 154 cm we've got a steel sort of bolster lock style knife it's actually the frame right and then we've got the red micarta and of course the cool glow crest uh for people who enjoy the aesthetic of a traditional knife but you prefer the uh luxuries of a modern bearing action folding knife this is right up your alley um and they have hand rub satin finished blades as well 129 not a bad price at all, in my opinion. I think the Ghost also looks really good, or the Jade, or the Translucent, Lucent, or the Natural, whatever you want to call that. Healthy supply of flashlights, too, for sure. You flashlight aficionados will probably know a lot more than I do, but they're there for sure. Everything else beyond that first part of the page, I literally have not seen yet. So we're doing this together organically. Boker stuff. Chavez Ultramar copper sleeve tie dots let's take a look at this one that's kind of neat this is an expensive pen right and you really have to love <laughs> you really gotta love pens and you really gotta love uh the chavez pocket clip because that's what we're looking at here but the finish on the pen is really nice look at that oh that's cool yeah okay 250 bucks this is titanium it's a bolt action pen right kind of neat if you're not into pens you're not going to care but if you if you like pens right Oh, there you go. Chavez makes one. Um, they get stuff like, I mean, like a lot of people, a lot of other retailers got these, but the um, Custom Knife Factory, Koni, Konigin? Konigin? I'm not really sure. But to me, that's 
semi oddball enthusiast stuff. So when I see stuff like that on a retailer site, it makes me go, what the heck else do they have? Like, I mean, they're getting, and you can see here the custom knife factor and these are sold out now, but I'm just saying for future reference, they get stuff like this, uh, custom knife factory stuff. So that's pretty cool. Um, we've got the Protec TR 4.5, uh, and I think this is the mirror polished. Yeah. So if you weren't aware, they did a special run of the, and it's hard to see it here, but the uh, TR 4.5 or tactical response four, and then the MOP button compound, right? So it's got the compound blade and it's mirror finished. You cannot see it in this picture. But believe me when I say it is mirror finished. It's also got a pearl or what's the other word? It may not be pearl inlay. That's why if you're looking at that and you're going, what the heck? $499 for a pro It's because the blade is compound ground and mirror finished, right? So this is absolutely an upgraded variant of the TR 4.5 in this case. So they still got a couple of those. Looks like recently they got some operator series versions of it. Bronze uh, Microtech Combat Troodons. They definitely do still have a healthy supply of Microtechs. They have a lot of Microtechs. I was just looking at that the other day. More flashlight stuff. Let's scroll down here and see what else we've got on the second page. Um, and they do have payment plans too. So if you find something you like, and you're like, I can't afford it right now, then you do, you know, of course, you can do like the four payment thing. Um, that's an option. They did get a bunch. I told people this. They got a bunch of Demco 80, 20 point. And a lot of people are going, why are you just highlighting stuff that's sold out? The point of this is to bring everybody's attention to the fact that River's Edge Cutlery gets stuff like this, right? This is the stuff that's super popular. P partially my fault. But this is the stuff that's that's popular, right? So they did get a run of these. And I'm telling you guys, even though they're sold out right now, if you're trying to get one of these, uh, number one, well, <laughs> we'll wait till, we'll wait till the, this afternoon's video, <laughs> but if you're trying to get one of these, sign up for their email notifications, sign up for their newsletter, because I can guarantee you more are going to drop, more are going to drop at River's Edge Cutlery. I'm sure that this is not the only batch that they ordered, right? Moving on here, Flytanium Backspacers, Giant Mouse Deep Carry Pocket Clip for the, uh, Sonoma. Oh, okay. Interesting. The Sonoma V1. Um, flytanium bug out thumb studs that are titanium. Oh, okay. So there you go. If you, um, if you're wanting the silver thumb studs for your bug out, right? A lot of people are like, I like the bug out. I just don't want the blue or the bronze or brass, whatever they came with. Well, there you go. There's some, uh, titanium ones right there. A lot of people ask me when I did my monochromatic titanium bug out build, they said, where the heck did you get the silver lugs? Um, I can't remember where I got mine, but here's some flytanium ones you can buy for 12 bucks. So if you're trying to complete a build, right, or you just don't want the blue on there, right, maybe you want to go with red and you don't want blue contrasting with red. I don't know why you wouldn't as a Jayhawk fan. I think it looks pretty good. But if you wanted to do that, well, there you go. You can do it right here. Copper stuff, right? Flytanium stuff in general. Uh, what are these? This is the lanyard hole filler, which I think is a fantastic idea because I hate lanyards. Um, <laughs> I think this is a cool way to add an accent to your uh, Spyderco knives with those big, ugly lanyard holes, right? Just fill it. Put some, you know, copper, titanium, whatever color you want in there, right? I think it looks good. Olight flashlights, absolutely. Very cool. I kind of like these ones that stand and have the light coming out of the side, right? I believe the base is magnetic, which would make a flashlight like that super useful if you've got a surface above you with metal or beside you or below you, right? If you just want to set it down and shine light into a specific area, that's pretty useful. Especially like if you've ever tried, like had to get into a crawl space or get into an attic, right? Sometimes it's nice to just set the flashlight somewhere and let it do the work for you without having to worry about whether or not it's going to roll off of that surface. Moving on here, let's see, moving down, moving down, Leatherman pocket clips, right? Uh, definitely something that uh, people with Leathermans, right, if you like to carry your Leatherman, but it's always tilting over in your pocket, right? There you go, there's your Leathermans right there. I believe a lot of those pocket clips will work. Um, another Leatherman clip, That's my. that looks almost more preferable. Um, let's see here, there's the new, uh, the the upgraded uh, Civivi fixed blade there in, I think, so mine I thought listed in 9 CR, yeah, this is 10 CR 15 C-O-M-O-V. What is that? 
Honestly, I don't know. I know that there's like an exact, I mean, like generally speaking, as the numbers get greater with these MOV steals, they get, and heavy quotes on this better, right? But I don't know what steel this is relative to. It's the steel they chose on this guy. I've handled this knife. Civivi sent it to me. It's a great, great fixed blade. In fact, it's really impressive. The quality of this thing is really impressive considering this is a sub $100 fixed blade. I mean, you know, there's a less expensive version of this, by the way, um, that's not so like shiny and kind of luxury feeling, but just to let you guys know, there it is right there. It's 10 bucks less, right? If you just want the straightforward one, I think that's in D2. More of those flitanium uh, crosshair stoppers or spiral stoppers or whatever you want, you know, whatever those are. Civivi Brazen. Hey, look at that. There's a mini tough light. Those have, <laughs> those are like not available anywhere. Some backpacks, right? Stuff like that. Rips Garage Tech or RGT Chris Reeve Timascus clips. There's also some Spider Co Timascus clips. Um, I bet those will fit any standard three hole configuration. So there you go. If you want to spice up your spider co knife with a pocket clip that costs nearly the same as the knife, which is fine. I've done that before. Don't hate. People are like, a pocket clip costs almost as much as the knife. I bet nobody's ever thought that out loud. Ha -ha! Yeah, they have. They don't care. They obviously don't care because they're buying. <laughs> <laughs> don't come down on people for that. If you want to spend less money, you don't have to go with Timascus anyway. You can go with Titanium for about 50 bucks, right? Or don't, right? Do whatever you want. Uh, RGT scales, a whole bunch of customizable stuff that they've got available here through Spyderco. And like, if you're looking at Flytanium or RGT, if you're trying to build something, yeah, there's tons of stuff here for sure. They definitely do get Chris Reeve knives. Absolutely, right? Now this, we're sorting by newest first. So you can go through and look like up here where I was talking about. You can go through and check out brand, yeah, shop by brand, absolutely. And I'm sure, you know, there's probably more than just that. They're definitely not listing all of them there. Um, but uh, you can you can go through and search by that if you want to as well. Moving on here, Endura Foliage Green, uh, Beard Oil, there you go. Um, I So I used Beard Oil for the first time this last year. It, those of you who were around when I grew my beard out, that was awful, by the way. I recommend Beard Oil, but I don't recommend growing a beard. A beard. It's horribly itchy, and when you sleep on it, it gets all smashed down, and it hurts when you wake up. I don't. I did not like it at all. There you go. Recent run of Hinder XM18 three and a half inch Eclipse Harpoon Spantos. I don't know why they say three and a half inch because they. Well, I do know because they have a three inch Eclipse now, so they do have to say three point five inch Eclipse. This is the most beautiful version of the Eclipse that has ever been, and Rivers Edge Cutlery got some right. So again, don't look at it as, oh, why do you show us stuff that's sold out? I'm so bummed out about that. It's, hey, they get these. This is definitely a website you guys want to pay attention to. In fact, it is the reason that I set this up with them because they get stuff like this. Not in the same quantities as some of the other massive retailers out there, but they do get them, right? So I want to make sure that people are aware of this. Skipping the end of that page there because I didn't see anything ultra interesting on that page. Sorry, we're getting things to load here. I've had to reset the internet twice this morning, so it's not River's Edge Cutlery. It's my internet connection. More Leatherman stuff. Interesting. That The Leatherman Raptor Rescue thing is always like, man, tactical scissors. That thing is tactical AF. But hey, if you're into that, then go for it, right? Oh, these are cool. Uh, Journey Tool... Co Essentials Maintenance Kit. That's kind of neat. I mean, it's a Pelican case with stuff that's already in it, right? So you got like your, let's, let's look at that. That's kind of neat. That's expensive, right? But I mean, here's the thing. Whether you spend 20 bucks or you spend $500 on your EDC maintenance stuff, everybody needs some EDC maintenance stuff. They got one of those bearing drivers, Journey Tool Co., right? You got your different uh, Torx heads, everything you need there, right? I mean, the, the essentials, you got some uh, pivot lube and you got some Loctite, right? That's cool. Everything's all in one place, right? Do you take Do with that price what you will. I've never handled this, right? I've never, I don't know. I've definitely spent like a lot of money on a driver. 
<laughs> so I can't really judge for anybody who wants to uh, do that. Oh, they've got the Spartan Blades Talos in black and OD green. And then they also have the Spartan Blades Aster. Oh, no, that one's out of stock. But they do have the Aster in green G10 and CTS XHP. I really like these, right? also want to point out these are stiff when you get them. Did they change the pocket clip? What? Did they change it? I can't remember. They might have changed that clip. They might have made it a little bit wider. Um, these are a little stiff when you get them. You can take them apart and put some uh, 10 weight nano oil on them or just let them break in. I promise you they get smoother over time. So if you get one of these and you're like, oh my gosh, it's tight. Just give it some time. It's a wonderful user. This is the same profile as the Les George Talos, which is confusing because this is called the Talos, which is based on the Spartan Harzi, but it's smaller, right? <laughs> this is based on the Les George Talos, which is a wonderful design. More, uh, they had skinny Harpoon Spantos here, which I can't remember if they dropped, ever. I don't think those were exclusive to River's Edge Cutlery, but they did drop those, right? We're seeing, we've seen now two separate waves of hinderers, right? What? Oh, this is an MG8020 in Grivery. Yeah, they did get some Grivery boys. Um, for those of you who don't know, the least expensive version of the actual 8020, the big old fat boy, the American boy, is this guy right here, the MG8020 in green FRN. With the build quality of the 8020, I mean, personally, I'm, I'm going to prefer G10 or Titanium. Really, that, those are the two that I own. But with the build quality here, uh, there's not going to be any difference between it, right? So if you just want to save 100 bucks, then there you go. These periodically will be available, right? I mean, they're going to be gone super quick if they drop. So it's important. But look at all these that they got. They got a ton of them. There's the, almost exactly the same as mine, except for the... Sorry, somebody's texting me. Um, almost exactly the same as mine, except it didn't have the, uh, the thumb slot opener, which some people really prefer, right? So they did get a titanium one. And if I'm not mistaken, this was here fairly recently, right? So pretty cool. Let's take a look here. More Microtech knives. Oh boy. Cons oh, that's on consignment. That's right. They do have a consignment program, which makes this website a little bit more interesting. If you're attempting to sell something, I'm sure they don't accept every last little tiny thing. I don't know what their rules are, but if you're trying to sell something that is of interest and is in good condition and high quality, right, they might let you do that. And I'll let you guys look into the consignment program. Obviously, it costs you a little bit of money to do that. And then for people looking to buy stuff, like, for example, this William Henry Custom, um, you might be able to pick up something that's kind of rare uh, for potentially a good deal. So it's kind of like uh, if you've ever been to Arizona Custom Knives, it's kind of like what they do. Some Leong Ma's, absolutely, absolutely worth checking out. Leong Ma makes excellent knives for sure. Moving on here, what's this? Muratic Peanut Lighter. All right. I don't know what that, I mean, it's obviously a small lighter, right? We'll go one more page. Let's see here. No, no. Wow, okay. Uh, Benchmade Claymore, Adam Purvis Zerks. These are things that were previously here. More RGT PM2. Uh, these are carbon fiber pocket clips. Those are kind of neat. Uh, Benchmade Fatty Clip. That's cool. I like that. For those of you who are un you know unfortunate enough to have purchased a really good Benchmade model, with the phallic clip that is infinitely hilarious to me, you can switch it out. If you want to pay 64 bucks, I mean, that's a lot of money for a pocket clip, but you can switch it out for something that looks infinitely better, in my opinion. Nothing against Benchmade knives. I just really don't like that clip, right? All right, some more stuff that we're all familiar with. They do carry Civivis, and they definitely carry some more um, budget-oriented knives, for sure. Um, at some point, we will look through their entire coming soon page. I think maybe I'll just give you guys a little bit of a teaser here. It's Again, it's going to be a lot of the stuff that's coming through. Like if you're waiting on, a, I don't know if these mini Adamas are out of stock everywhere, everywhere, but if you're waiting on a mini Adamas to drop somewhere, you might as well sign up for email, email notifications here as well so that you can get your hands on the stuff that you want. Um, I guess this is the one that's, that's just their one listing, uh, everything that's listed there. So 
Anyways, guys, this is fun. I like to do this periodically with the different retailers that I work with to just let people know the kind of stuff that, you know, these retailers have, the kind of stuff you can expect, what's actually in stock, what's coming soon. And I like to talk. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I don't know if you realize I'm a, you know, as, as Advanced Knife Bro would put it, a guy who likes to hear himself talk. <laughs> oh my gosh, if you've not watched his review on the Demco 80 20.5, you've got to. That was a genius. Uh, not just because I was in it. I'm saying you got to watch it because it's funny. <laughs> he's, he's excellent. All right, guys, that's going to be pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed kind of walking through River's Edge Cutlery with me. Um, and to River's Edge Cutlery, thank you very much for, uh, for working with me. I appreciate that. Very much enjoy your site and what you guys do. That's going to be pretty much it today, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that uh, Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.